Hey guys, welcome to another nib review. So we've got our tasty little nibs here in this Leonard nib holder. Today I am going to grab the Galat 1068 and the Galat 303. And I am going to use the holder that came with them. I am inking in my Denik Inktober notebook, which is not a recommended notebook. If you are looking for a good notebook for your uh, nib inking, I highly recommend you get the Strathmore 500 series Plate Bristol Visual Journal. And we're going to be inking today with Payne's Gray FW uh, Acrylic Ink. And I've already got it in a little container. And we're actually, we'll put this one aside, going to be inking with the 1068. It's kind of a tight fit in there. Ooh, I like this one. Because it's flexible already, but not so flexible that I'm really struggling to use it, which was probably not yesterday y'all's time, but yesterday my time, the problem with the nib I was using for the piece I was doing. And I'm already having an easier time. It's not nipping into the paper like that flexible 404 I was using. And it also seems to glide across the paper a little bit better. So usually I record these nib videos somewhat early in the day for me, uh, from 12 to two, I am usually recording my nib reviews, but today I went to Plaza, which is an art supply store in Nashville, Tennessee. I went down to Plaza because this weekend is hands on creativity and I even did a little vlog about it and this morning at nine there was a daniel smith workshop which was a lot of fun and i learned a lot i really uh love when people talk about how paints are made and that was a lot of the presentation which i thought was great because that's information that i sometimes had difficulty finding and i'm actually working on a big post about pigments and inks for natosoup.blogspot.com all right so i messed up a little bit over there. I think that is user error, not nib goofing on me. And the nice thing about this is there is some flex, but it's much easier to control because it's a little stiffer. And for heavy handed people like me, it offers just like the right amount of flex and the right amount of control without um, it going all over. And it is capable of pulling some very fine lines which is also really nice. And it also, while it puts out a fair amount of ink on the paper, it does not, I have not had any railroading yet. I also haven't really tried to push it to the point where it would just have to railroad, but it's also not just dumping a lot of ink on my paper. So my lines are actually drying fairly quickly. So this might be a good nib if you want to ink your comics traditionally. Or it could just be a good all around nib. Inking schedule is going to be still a little disturbed tomorrow because I have the Windsor and Newton 
workshop, which actually won't affect you guys at all, even though Joseph has been doing a stint as my editor for these so we can get them out super quick so people can actually use them while Inktober is still ongoing. As always, I probably could have done a better job if I had taken my time, but this is a very easy nib to handle. So um, even though I'm kind of rushing with this, it still did an excellent job, which is another reason why I think this might be a good nib for comic artists. Um, lots of control, doesn't, I mean, I was really digging into those eyebrows there and it did start to tear up the paper, but that is pretty, that's pretty good for a nib. Most nibs will start to tear up the paper much sooner than that. So if you can find the 1068, it's a pretty decent pointed pen nib. So I will do my best to track this down for you guys. I'll actually fill it in her mouth since my mistake there was bothering me. Now, usually if you're going to do a fill, I would say just grab a brush. Uh, no point in filling with your nib. It can be done and I'll zoom in so you guys can see me do it, but it's not really the best use of your time and it does abrade your paper which can cause problems if you decide to add color on top of it later and it's going to leave like a weird gross texture like it's going to be obvious that you damaged your paper surface but um you can do it if you so desire I'm gonna fix this part of her mouth as well there we go All right, so that is the Galat 1068. Um, and I ordered, this was from a set I didn't order. I purchased it from Sakaido in Tokyo in 2012. So like I said, it might be difficult to find, but I really like it. And if you can find it, I would recommend you picking one up. And this was in the comics and illustration set. So maybe, maybe you would be able to find it. And like I said, I will also try to locate it and put it in the description down below for you guys in case I can find it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll check out some of my other nib videos. And if you're looking for more inking instruction, check out my advanced inking techniques playlist. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye guys.